fast. Hi. How you doing? Yeah. I was driving home and <laughs> this is what happens. I eat a great breakfast. I eat a great lunch. I drink my water. I take my vitamins. But after work, after a strenuous day, I be like, oh, sorry. I be like, ooh, Chick-fil-A fries. <laughs> so I stopped and got some fries. Um, so I have a circle, of, um, a um, girlfriend's group that I talk to all day, literally every day. We have a a um, chat that we chat in and we talk about everything. We share things. We're transparent. We laugh, joke, we cry. We pray for each other. It's just a safe space, right? Um, and so today, you know, we talk, literally, so we're all hardworking women. So we talk to each other while we're going to work. And when we're coming home. So today when I was coming home, I was talking about my day. And I was telling them I had made a mistake at work. And I think that I'm more hard on myself than anyone else because I really strive to, to work in the spirit of excellence to give 100%, to comprehend, understand, and execute. Like, it's a passion of mine because at the end of the day, I want to feel accomplished. I made a mistake at work today. It's kind of major. And, you know, when it was cited, I was like, oh God. I got with my team and was like, tell me what I did. Why did I do it? How do we fix it? What do I do moving forward? So I'm meeting with my team. I got my notepad like, oh my God, let me put this in my notes. Cause I like, I mm -mm, no, right? It's all about, for me, letting my name and my character speak for me, right? So I think that's why I'm kind of hard on myself and I'm really thinking this out as I talk, so bear with me. I think that's why I'm hard on myself because Not that I want to be perfect, but I just want to operate in an excellent capacity. Perfect is not an option for me. So, I was talking to the girls about it today, and I was like, I think I'm so hard on myself. I know where it comes from. I didn't come from a background of people who affirmed me or I'm proud of you, great job, like none of those things, right? My family is amazing. They just weren't those type of people. I grew up with women, women, hardworking women who did it all, who provided for their family, who worked hard, wanted for nothing but they had to get get it out the mud as people say and um so that positive should I go this way let me go this way so that you're doing a great job I love you comforting words wasn't wasn't something that I grew up with so I think the downfall to that is when people affirm me or when people compliment, I don't know how to say compliments. <laughs> I don't know how to say compliments. When people say like, oh my gosh, you're on this one, I'd be like, mm. thank you. Like, 
that's just how it has to be. That's how. That's how I am. Um, another side of that is because of that. I think I'm a little harder on myself when I miss. When I miss, you know what I mean. Like really hard on myself. So, um, I was saying to the girls, I asked them a question: What do you say to yourself when you make a mistake? What are you rehearsing mentally? What are you saying? to yourself like are you rehearsing what was done in my case in this situation I had to rehearse it because I was like okay I did X Y and Z okay I can do X Y and Z I do X Y and Z but not at this point in the procedure like you know I so I'm rehearsing that um so <laughs> I was asking the girls that and I would like to ask you what are you what do you say to yourself when you make a mistake what do you say to yourself when you're missing the mark what is your perspective of yourself when you fall short I literally was like, oh my God. Because every day, listen, listen. I am in a season. <laughs> nah! I'm in a season of being stretched. Long gone are the days of me being able to do my job with my eyes closed. I am being stretched. It's a new season. I am grateful for this season, right? Because if you're being stretched and you're in an unfamiliar place, that means you can you have the opportunity to shine and grow. And I think I hope that I'm doing that in this season, in this position. Um so daily am I asking God, God continue. And actually, I pray this with my kids. I pray this. We pray this as a family in my house. And I always say, God, please continuously give us the wisdom to accomplish what comes before us, what crosses our path. Give us the wisdom to accomplish what cause, crosses our path with the spirit of excellence. And if there's some things that we don't know, we thank you even now that you will give us guidance and wisdom to accomplish. That's a daily prayer for all of them. I do it with the children when they're in school. Um, if they're faced with a life issue, my husband, absolutely, right? As we continuously pray, pray for favor with man and favor with, with God, right? So it's always a thing for me. And I'm praying this daily. But I just been, I don't know. Like I just, I try so hard that I don't want to miss the mark. Or oh, I don't want to make a mistake. But when I do, I have to learn how to process it better without beating myself up. Because when I say I beat myself up, like, and it's not like a, it's a mental thing, right? My, I'm, I'm sad. I'm feeling that, like, it's a whole thing for me. And I have to learn how to mentally and emotionally process it. Let me tell y'all what happened. Didn't I tell y'all I ate good? I ate good today. I have four, four Twix. My husband, so I have a little like snack area in my desk. My husband bought me some Twix. Well, he bought me like the king, the king size one. Like it had four instead of two. My thing is this, just give me two because that'll control, you know. Nah, not not my husband. He was like, oh, I just wanted to, you know, you go to big one so you can have, you know. So. <laughs> oh, 
cracking up. Um, because yeah, I literally ate all four twigs. Like, cause I'm processing how I missed the mark. So I'm like, oh my god, okay, oh my god. Like I'm, I'm so sad. Oh my god. I let my, am I letting my team down? Oh my god, I messed up. Oh my god, they're gonna be mad. Oh my god, I didn't carry this out. Now what do I do to fix it? But like, it's a whole conniption. It's a whole conniption. Um, so I think as a healthy balance and to keep myself in perfect peace, I've got to find a better way to process the failures. Here's the fact I just had. Some Chick-fil-A first time. They was so good. They was nice and hot. Let me tell you, side note. Let me tell you how I like my fresh fries. Give me the crisp. Give me the crunch. But I need them to be soft. Like if I hold it, it's gonna be flimsy. But when I but when I eat it, you can hit a like that. Chick-fil-A be giving me what I need. Um, but yeah. So I wanted to share that. I wanted to be transparent and I also wanted to kind of prick your mind to see how do you process your failures? What are you saying to yourself repeatedly? Repeatedly, How do you feel when you fail? Um, we can have a dialogue. I know that I posted a lot of my, 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 um, my picture, my, my pictures, my videos and my questions. And you guys DM me instead of commenting. But so whatever you're comfortable with, let's comment, let's talk, let's dialogue. I have some really good conversation. Yo, is that the Mercedes electric car? Sorry. Um, so good. Um, I have some really good conversations in my DMs with my sassy. So however you feel the need, um, let's talk about it. And we can, and listen, I was just transparent with you. I am a safe space. You can be transparent with me and hey, we can put our minds together and help each other out, all right? Because it is a um, ongoing thing that I have to deal with um, and process. I love you, Sass. Don't forget to shop SassyPerspectives.com in the Sassy store. This month, I released um, the Sassy Throw Blanket and the Sassy shorts that have affirmations all over it. Beautiful, intelligent, favored, fearfully, and wonderfully made. Um, yeah, it's like all over. It's so cute. Go look at it. SassyPerspectives.com in the store. Um, those are the two merches this month. I am doing meal of the month. What month is this, Shay? Is this July? Um, doing meal of the month. Um, it will be <laughs> back by popular demand. The salmon bowl, which includes um, whipped mashed potatoes and spinach and salmon with a um, seafood cream sauce that I do um, so yeah that will be on sale at the end of this month make sure that you are following Sassy Perspectives on all social media platforms well not all uh, Instagram and Facebook chat uh, Sassy Perspectives follow so you can get all of the updates and like and comment we do Tuesday affirmations we have fun over there child we you know I bring up topics I share my life over at Sassy Perspective. So make sure you're following. I love you, Sass. And together, together, we are going to be able to positively, healthy, to to process healthy. Let me, I was going to say healthily. That's not a word. We're going to develop a healthy processing. No, let me start off. We're going to develop a healthy process when we fail. That's what we're gonna do. We will adopt a healthy mental and emotional and physical, because I didn't eat french fries and four twigs, a process for when we fail. Because we have to be good to ourselves. I love you, Sass, and I will talk to you later. Bye.